This is MPLS Full Scale Lab, where we will practice everything we've learned in Huawei MPLS Services Volume 1 and Volume 2 courses. MPLS Full Scale Lab is a company XYZ. It's a service provider network, consists of three main regions, Region X, Region Y, and Region Z. Region X and Region Y are identical. They have two routers function as PEP router. They have two rules, PE router for its connected customer routers and P router for its PE routers that are connected to it. PEP routers connected to other routers in different regions. For example, PEP1X, its number one in its region and its rule is PEP router and it resides in region X and is connected to PEP1Y, the first router in region Y, which functions as PEP router. Back again to region X, where we have PE3X. This router functions as PE router only. It connects customer router and its number three and resides in region X and connected to PEP1X. As we said, region Y is identical to region X. It has same number of routers and same connections. Region Z, where we have P1Z and P2Z. Two routers function as P router only and its number one and reside in region Z. It has four PE routers, PE3, 4, 5, 6. PE routers are connected to P routers in the region and they are connected to PEP routers in other regions like PE3Z, PE4, Z connected to PEP1X and 2X and same for PE5, PE6. As we can see, all three regions are connected to each other using the core routers, the P routers. P1X is connected to P1Y and is connected to P1Z and same for other P routers. To enhance node length redundancy, there are two planes in each region, plane 1 and plane 2. Another level of protection is added for PEs in each region. They are connected to each other like PE3X is connected to PE4X and same for PE3Z to PE4Z and PE3Y connected to PE4Y. There are three root reflectors. Root reflector 1 resides in region X, root reflector 2 resides in region Y and root reflector 3 resides in region Z. There are three customer branches customer a customer b and customer c customer a has two different branches the first branch consists of two routers ce5 and ce6 and they are connected to the two planes of region x they are connected to pep1x and PEP2X to enhance redundancy for customer A. This is the first site. The second geographical site for customer A is represented by CE7 and this branch is connected directly to region Z, both planes of region Z to PE3Z and PE4Z and it has a direct connectivity to the first branch of customer A site. CE7 customer A is connected directly to CE6 customer A. This is for more protection and another level of redundancy. Customer A required to connect its branches directly with another provider. So customer A 
as the first type of connectivity to company XYZ, which is the first service provider, and another direct connectivity via another service provider. We have same for customer B. It has the first branch connected to region Y. The second branch is connected to region Z and both branches of customer B has a direct connectivity for more protection via another service provider. Customer C has two separate geographical sites as well and they are connected to region X and region Y. The target of this service provider, service provider XYZ is to provide connectivity for different customer branches. The link of ENSP file for this lab with all the initial configuration files for all these routers is added in the description section of this video. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope it can add a good value to you.